will be there. Oh, and then that goes... Actually... Well, maybe the reason that looks bad is because I'm using too many. Because we don't need that for it to be safe. Or that. Or this. Or indeed this. So now that that's substantially less blocky, I mean that looks a bit strange there, but it's safe, and there's less of it. And usually, you know, making it look more efficient usually makes it look better. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, I think that's a good idea. No. No. No, that's better. All right, so I need to find where I drop those things. Probably drop more down there as well. Let me go pick that up. Okay, so I've done that to the stairs. And that to the stairs on the other side as well, just now. It still looks a little bit strange, but I don't... What if we... What if we do that? Huh. I think that actually looks better. Yeah, it does. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Good. So the last little bit. The very last little bit. I was thinking, actually, this... No, that's right, because we can't jump up from anywhere else, so that's why this fence is here. So the last little bit is... Just so that the fences don't look like they're floating in mid-air. And also to, well, first of all, that. So, you know, that doesn't look like the fences are floating in midair. And then to make it symmetrical, we will do that. One, two, one, two, three. No, one, two, three. Yeah, I'll do that. So, on either side of the middle block. And then here if we... Huh, if I fall into there I can't get back out again, that's interesting. And I can't jump here neither. So I need to get somewhere else. So it's still not a good idea to get stuck in the circuit. Oh wow. Like, there are places where you can get completely stuck and you have to demolish the circuit to get back out again. Anyway, here we're gonna do that and that. So we got railings again. Not really... Maybe that would be better if it's a different colour. Like a different colour of wood. Well, it will look better, but it will take much, much longer for me to do it because I need to, you know, grow the trees and then get the wood. I don't even know if you can do railings a different color yet, but I know you can get different colored wood planks. Should I spend much longer on this just for the sake of having it look a little bit better? I'll think about that. I can always change it later, if I don't do it now. Okay, let's just get ourselves back out of this situation. And jump back out of it. I probably won't. It just seems like it's a huge investment for very little gain. Alright, so... 
the fence looks like that, and it's you know good protection. You don't fall in. You can still see through it. Yeah, like I, I think the differentiation and the color between the fences and the pathway would look a little bit better, actually. Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Okay, I'll leave it at this for the moment, and obviously I have to build the fences around all the other modules as well, which will take a little bit of time. Not too much, but given, you know, the difficulty of placing the fences, it will take a little bit of time. Alright, well let me get on with that. If I do change it, I'll probably change the pathways and not change the fences. I think changing the pathways will be easier. Like, make this a lighter color. Uh, that would be the, the birch, I think. What is it called? Like, there's pines, there's birches, there's oaks. And the jungle tree, whatever that is. So the, the birch is the lighter one. We can test that actually. Let's, let's, let's just grab some wood and let me just have a look at the colors. Alright, so we got the jungle wood. I think that's the jungle wood. I think that's the pine and that's the birch. Okay, we got that, we got that, we got that. Let's see if we. Hmm. Mm, meh. No. Not. Not excited. See, the thing about the biomes is, and I don't have biomes in my old area, and, and that's one of the reasons I want to move out. Well, one of the things that like, would make me want to move out of, of the boundary area, like the old elf area, is... Like, imagine going to a completely new biome with no inventory and it's a jungle then everything that's timber that you make will be a different color whereas then you, you move into a a pine forest with no inventory and start building and then everything you build out of timber there will be a different color so like the color of the architecture would reflect the environments that you're building in and I, I like the idea of that a lot anyway let's stop ranting about that I like this color of wood, like this this lighter color. I mean, if you try to visualize, it's kind of difficult, isn't it, to visualize if the whole thing was the different color. I think it would look a little better, just so that the different elements, the different building elements look slightly different from each other. I mean, the reason I'm using timber here is because, you know, down there it's all cobblestone and grey. So the idea, and obviously the the wool there, the, the blue and the orange. And again, if you have any ideas about better colour combinations, I'd like to hear about it. You know, what you think are better colours. Although, you know, colours are quite subjective. Like, everyone has their favourite colours and everything else. Anyway, like, the idea of using timber for the walkways instead of just more cobblestone is to differentiate between the largely cobblestone environment that's already there. And so again, here, using a different color of wood. I mean, if you imagine the fences are all in place, it looks just like a mass of brown. Like, if you imagine the whole screen is like these colors, it's brown and the same brown all over the place. So, my hunch is that it would look better with a little bit of different color. Darker? Lighter? I think I like the lighter, in fact. I like the combination of the lightest and the darkest. But if I do that, then this would really this really would take forever. I'd have to harvest a lot of timber. I like this combination actually.
but given that I don't want to spend forever doing this, I might use this combination. What to do? What to do? What to do? You know what? It's worth the time, I think. In fact, it's so worth the time. Actually, I need to check if fences can be made from... Oh, no, they can't, because when you turn them into sticks, it's just the same colored sticks. Okay, so I, I can't. The, the only color fence I can make is that color anyway, so... Never mind that, so... I think I will use the lighter birch color for the walkways, which means I have to demolish the whole walkway system here and then rebuild it. And also grow the trees and get the timber and make the stuff. Okay. I'll do that, but not right now. Maybe later. Hmm. Hmm. Or maybe just leave it like this? Actually, I'll release the video. See what you guys think. I'm sure you guys will have all sorts of different opinions. But, uh... Well, you know what? Since I'm gonna have to make the fences out of this color anyway, I'll build all the fences, and then come back and see what that looks like. Then I'll decide whether to replace the walkway with that. Because, you know, I have to do this in that color anyway, so... That's already decided. So we can do that. And then we'll come back and we can decide whether it's too brown. Or, you know, too much of the same brown. I mean, I can, I can live with this. It's not a big deal. It's just, you know, maybe it's worthwhile. Um, okay. I guess I'm gonna build fences off-screen. And, uh, I'll do this later. Alright, so all of the fences are in place, all of the the timber walkways are in place, well at least the first level, obviously there's going to be more of them as we go down. So yeah, it looks like that. I mean the, the timber really dominates now, there isn't really much of the circuit to see when you're like standing in the middle of the platform. Much of the circuits obstructed by the, the fences, so you really have to lean over to really see anything. Uh, it's not really a concern for me, I mean it wasn't, it was never really a, you know, a, a decorative thing, the circuits. It's just that, um, that's how it is. Also, I've also realized that I'm not playing the snapshots, and so we don't have the different types of wooden slabs yet. So if I take the different types of timber and make wooden slabs with them, they're all the same color, they're all this color. Um, they've been changed in the snapshots, but not in the the actual updates yet, and so I guess we're not gonna do this different colored wood. I don't know, I mean if, if the update comes out before I finish, no I don't want to change it. No, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Because this is what's av what's available at the moment. Even though I can change the pathways to a different color, the steps would be would still be that color. So I'll just leave it at this and save the colored wood for another occasion. And one final thing is, if you remember, in the last one I had a gate there and then a gate here, which is kind of redundant because they're almost next to each other. So I removed those. So now I only have three gates in each module. One there. One there. Even this one's not really necessary, but I guess it's it might be convenient. And that. Um. All right. I guess I will release the video here because it's been pretty long already, and I probably should have just kept on digging and building the circuit. But that's been interesting to build those pathways and useful too. So now I can access the upper the upper circuits quite easily. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, right, back to digging. So I can build the next part of the delay circuit.
which is, you know, those four blocks there, one, two, three, four. The first piston is actually at that level, at the fourth one, so it's already starting to get complicated. Anyway, see you guys, and it looks like that from here. So imagine at this level there'll be another walkway and then more fences and all that. Anyway.